I feel like the market's like watching paint dry. It's slow, but it's still plugging along. It's not Christmas, New Year's slow, but this is kind of a crazy time of year for us people that have kids. It's a major segment of the market that's just not looking at houses right now. Then you have people trying to sneak in final vacations as well. And now it's Labor Day. It's gonna be a quiet weekend. We will see a cratering in stats next week, but after that, expect a slow build for the fall market, but it's going to be a fall market with falling rates. Sprinkle in an election, it's gonna be interesting times ahead, that's for sure. In this video, we're gonna go over the single family cotton markets in the state of Massachusetts. We're also gonna do a quick interest rate update, and we'll talk about some relevant current events. Hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent and a real estate investor that has sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then know I'm here to help. Now, I had someone reach out this week in regards to our purchase power plan. They are specifically interested in buying two buildings, a condo in two buildings, I should say, nothing else. They felt this was the perfect plan for them. Instead of paying an agent two and a half to three percent of a million dollar purchase price, I couldn't agree more. I estimate that those guys could save upwards of 20 grand on their home purchase. With the purchase power plan, buyers pay for our services by the hour instead of a percentage of the purchase price. Reach out if you're a serious buyer that is looking to buy a house and want to save a small fortune. It's important to mention that we do the old fashioned way as well. So we can help you no matter what flavor you like and what process you want in the real estate world. But let's jump into the single family market stats. More leveled off inventory levels until next week. That is when inventory is going to take a huge nose dive. Inventory levels in Massachusetts went down a whole two units to 5,097 single family homes in the market. And we've now stayed in a plus or minus 50 unit range for the last seven weeks. We now have 0.37% more homes on the market than we did just 28 days ago. Inventory, it's been level for the last two months. Now I was wrong. I thought this week we'd actually cross the 2022 threshold. We now have 1,121 more houses on the market when compared to the same week last year. Levels between 2022 and today continue to tighten as we now have 55 fewer houses on the market compared to 2022. So close to a four year high for inventory levels again. New listings, they ticked up a bit this week when compared to this time last year. We listed 88 additional houses than when compared to the same week back in 2023. So new listings increased by 10.4%. I didn't expect this huge of a bump in new listings. Now, that four-week rolling average is 946 units. Under agreements, they were down slightly over last week's numbers. This week, we put 889 single-family houses under agreement. This is 15 units or 1.7% less than the same week last year when we put 904 houses under agreement. Now, that four-week rolling average, that was 920 units. So, when compared to last year's market, new listings were up by 10.4%. Under agreements, they were down by 1.7%. The pending new listing ratio is 97.4% which is compared to the 99.9% .9 that we saw this week last year. What this means is that 97% of all the properties that came on the market two weeks ago went under agreement last week. Now, it looks like there's a small pre-Labor Day weekend bump in the yearly data. That would kind of make a little sense as people are, you know, kind of bumping up their schedule because they're going away this weekend, but who knows? There were 707 single-family homes that closed this week for an average sales price of $789,000 and a median sales price of $640,000. Sales levels compared to the same week last year were off by 12 units or 1.7%. There were 719 single-family homes that sold for an average sales price of $791,000. Loads of inventory. This is how we determine what type of market we're in. Zero to five months, that's considered a seller's market. With the closer you get to zero, the stronger, more aggressive of a seller's market that it is. This week, months of inventory fell to 1.6 months from last week's 1.6. Four months to 1.6 months this week is compared to 1.34 months this week last year real quick it's my shameless plug i just wanted to mention that if you were thinking about buying or selling a house then it would be a true pleasure to help you now onto the condo market we now have 2690 condos on the market as of monday now this means that there were 4.1 percent less inventory on the market today than the inventory levels of just 28 days ago kind of interesting that the condo inventory actually ticked down this week but anyway, we now have 487 more units on the market today than today last year, 279 more compared to the inventory levels of 2022, and 130 units more than in 2021. There were 335 condos that came on the market last week with that four-week rolling average of 400 units. Now, the 335 units listed was 40 units or 10.7% less than 375 condos that came on the market this same week back in 2023. Now this week we put 321 units under agreement. Now this 321 condo sales is exactly how many condos we put under agreement this week last year. That four week rolling average for under agreements, that was 350 units. So 10.7% fewer listings came on the market when compared to this week last year while selling the exact same amount of condos. 
The condos pending some new listing ratio this week fell to 81.5%. And this is compared to the 86.5% that we saw this same week last year. It's interesting that the single family market saw a decent bump, while the condo market saw a bump down. Now, there are 306 condos that sold this week for an average sales price of $681,000 and a median sales price of $550,000. This same week last year, there were 263 condos that sold for an average sales price of $701,000. So sales levels, they were up by 16.4%. Months of inventory fell a little bit to 2.01 months this week compared to the 2.04 months this week, uh, or I should say last week, because we recorded uh, 1.68 months this week last year. So 1.68 months compared to 2.01 months. Any chance you can do me a huge favor, can you hit that like button right down there? Believe it or not, it just makes a huge difference to me and the channel. Just plays that YouTube algorithm. Well, subscribe it if you're enjoying the content. And I truly appreciate you thinking about subscribing because that one doesn't hurt either. But time to talk about interest rates. Interest rates took another tumble this week. I think people are getting a little carried away. I'm now seeing people calling for a 75 basis point federal funds rate cut. Granted, this was from a politician who was a borderline idiot, but I'm just hoping, I'm praying the Fed doesn't do anything dumb. There are home buyers with good credit that are seeing rates in the high fives and low 6% range. Now, I don't put a whole lot of stock in the national numbers, but other people do. Talking about the national real estate markets, like talking about the national weather forecast, the average temp is sunny and 79 degrees really doesn't help me all that much. Now, U.S. home prices surged to new record highs in June. Home prices in America's 20 largest cities rose for the 16th straight month in June and are up 6.4% year over year. But let's take a look at Massachusetts data real quick. Home prices also hit a record in June for single family homes in Massachusetts. It's a trend. It happens every year, just like home prices pulling back in July. Year over year, prices are up, but the month over month prices, they're going to fall and they're going to continue to fall until basically the end of the year. This is my what it feels like weekly reminder that the only stats you should be paying attention to are year over year stats, month over month stats, they don't matter. And the only stats that really matter are local stats. Wanna talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next nine or 90 days, and I would love to chat with you and just find out a little bit more about your real estate goals. And if you know of anyone that's thinking about buying or selling a house, then I truly appreciate you passing along my contact information. You can visit youtuberealestateagent.com or find all my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time, and thanks for watching.